I'm Katie Carefoot. I'm a product owner at Farmer's Edge. I'm here to talk to you today about Egg PhD Soils and setting up the app for sampling jobs, sinking your fields, and adding fields on the app. When you log into your account, what will automatically happen is that it'll sync any information that you need from the website if you've set it up already. So it'll sync assets, jobs, points, grids, and do a little bit of a cleanup. Once the sync is complete, it will give you a notification saying that your sync is complete. To log into your web headquarters, you go to the website, and here you can draw fields, print labels, and see your soil sample results. To get back to the home screen, you click your return home at the bottom of the screen. So if you have to set up farms and fields on the app, you click on the farms or fields tabs. You need to set up a farm before you add any fields. So you can click on the Farms tab and click on the bottom right hand corner, Add New Farm. You can also use the search function here. To add fields, do the same thing. You go into Fields, you can click on New Field. You do have to assign that field to a farm. So I can assign that to a, my demo farm. I can enter a field name called, um, let's just call it Egg PhD Demo. And then what I can do from the app, I can't draw my field, but what I can do is I can actually use my GPS to create a boundary. When I click on GPS boundary, it will take me to the map where I can see where I am and I can start tracing the field boundary with my GPS. When I want to start my GPS boundary, I can click start, I can pause it, and when I am done creating the boundary, I can click the done button. So what you can do is you can either drive or walk around the field as long as you um, have it started. When you're completed, you hit done and it will record your boundary. This boundary will be used for the field and if you stop the boundary uh, fairly close to where you started it, uh, it will just snap the rest of the boundary to close it off. So to sample the job, once you've you've put together your farms and fields, you can create soil sample jobs. When you go to the soil sample job screen, you can see that you have jobs that are listed chronologically. So I have jobs that I started in September, October, November, and now to January. So my most recent job will be on my the bottom of my list. I can also use the filter button at the bottom here to filter by farm if I only want to see my fields for the demo farm. I can go here and I can see two fields that I've actually created today. So I have jobs already already on the app. So if I do have a field that I created recently and I am standing within the field, when I add a soil sampling job, it will understand that I am sitting in that field. So if I have a field or a job that's still in set grid status, I can move the grid on the app. So I can click on the, the marker and I can move it and it will move the grid as well. What I can also do is I can change my grid size here as well on the scroll at the bottom. So if I wanted to make it a 9.25 acre grid, I can change it here. I'm going to just keep it at 5 acres. I can also rotate as well. So if I rotate the grid, then I can use the scroll bar to rotate it back and forth. Once I'm done that, I can click the bottom right hand corner and click use and it'll take me into a menu that says if I want to start sampling, save it to late for later, delete the job, or hit cancel. If I want to start sampling, I would have to be in the field to mark a sample. So I'm going to create a job for a new field that I just created today. So what I need to do is I need to go to jobs and I click add. I am standing in a field called Winnipeg demo field. So what it needs to do is I can either say that I want to use my current field or I can select manually from the list. Because I'm standing in the field, I'm going to use the current field that I'm standing in. What it does then is it takes me into that field and I can set the grid size and edit it here. When I know that I want to use this grid, so if I'm going to move the grid, so I have two grid points here that I want to sample and I'm going to use this grid. To start sampling, it will take me to the field and it'll show me where I'm sitting. To mark a sample, I click the sample button down at the bottom here. It'll show that I have an orange X on the map. If I'm not happy with that spot where I've taken that sample, I can clear that sample. But if I am, I'll click sample and then I'll click next. 
Then what I have to do is if I have a bag ID that I want to work with that I have already on my bag, I can enter a bag ID number here and click done. However, I want to just be provided with a sample bag ID. I view it here and I write this bag number onto the bag that I have my sample in. I click done, my sample is, is marked and I can move to my next grid point to sample. Once I'm done sampling the field, I can click the done button check mark in the bottom right hand corner and I can close the job. So what I can do is if I'm not done sampling, I can save this job for later or I can close the job so that I can order my tests for that job or I can cancel and go back to sampling. Right now, I will close my job. So you'll notice that that Winnipeg demo field that I have at the bottom here is in order test status. So now what I have to do is I synchronize my field so that it comes back to the website and I am able to go and order my tests there. Thank you.